Hey, welcome to another old school. Here I am, while Matt, and we are going to take a look at Road Rash for the Game Gear. Uh, I've always kind of wanted to do the first Road Rash, but I wanted to find an in interesting way to do it, and uh, I figured this would do it. Figured this would be an all right way. So, here we go on the Game Gear. So, I think this might just be the Sega Master System version. Just done for the portable. I think that's how it worked. So let's just jump into it here. There wasn't a lot of options in this game. You could do two player pass uh, in this game, but why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, if you were really bored, but then you should just get the, the Sega Genesis game. And at least you can see it on a freaking screen instead of looking at the freaking Game Gear piece of crap thing. Ugh, ah, the Game Gear. It's terrible. Alright, so let's just go to uh, start race. You can buy bikes and stuff, but we just don't have any money, so there's no point in doing it now. So like, this game for a portable game is insane in terms of just being a, 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 like a representation of 3D in racing this almost plays like the, the first game it really really does uh, a little bit downgraded of course but uh, like I said I think this is the master S system version of the game just uh, released for portables oh god oh god I was concentrating too much on punching that dude So I think you could play this on a, a, a TV if you wanted to, if you have a Master System and just get that version. It's pretty much the same game. Oh, I don't like that. You can't punch and turn and all that much in this game, though. If you're if you're punching, you're pretty much going straight. Maybe that's a limitation of uh, just how many animations they could have the character do, or how many frames they can store in there. Because he he is pretty smooth. That's what I always liked about the, the Road Rash games, is the, the sprites of the actual racers are pretty nice. They animate well. Oh, just hit his rear end there. I'm gonna overtake you, you bastard. Rex. So, yeah, uh, you see a couple bars there. Player A is me, of course. That's too lazy to enter a name there. I'm in sixth place. You see that blank spot there is whoever is closest to me so I guess uh, dude in front of me is a little bit far off pretty sure that number at the bottom means six as I almost hit that dude and uh, the bike meter is uh, of course your health on the bike so the bikes do blow up in this game there's a, some little funny cutscenes between all the races and uh, particular events that happen so if you crash your bike there's a little uh, scene that says hey you blew up the bike ha good stuff and that's that's really what made Road Rash I think because if it was just a regular racing game it was fun I liked playing Road Rash a lot you could hit people and stuff but then the little cutscenes that you would get that was pretty funny uh, I always thought that Road Rash had the a little bit of a uh, comedy to it that's why I didn't you don't really take the the hitting on the bikes all that seriously like it's fun but you don't really see it as all that violence like <laughs> we're hitting each other this is awesome look at that I just hit you Hilarious. So the thing about this game though is the variety in the bikes and and tracks. It's there. I mean, you notice a little bit of a difference, but <clears throat> it's not like Road Rash 2. Road Rash 2 definitely has more variety in just all the themes of the levels and, and the bikes. And the two-player mode in Road Rash 2 really did set it apart. So I don't know if there's cops in this version of the game. Actually, I don't think that there is. So that also takes away from something that the classic one had. I'm really, sh I'm not 100% positive that there's no cops, but I think that there's no cops in this version. punching playing it today though you really do see that it's kind of limited and you would get eventually bored with it but man did I spend hours playing this game Jesus this this now it's like a 
one dollar phone game, not even, which is sad. Sad. But, you know, I guess that happens to all technology, it's not just video games. Like, look at the screen on the iPhone. That's way better than any little portable screen I had when I was a kid. Not just on gaming systems, on anywhere. Oh yeah, that's a great way to finish that race. Whoa! <laughs> uh, press button to go to bike shop. Okay. This is mine. I don't have money for the next one. Let's do another race. Purchase mine. <laughs> I want my own bike. I need it. I'm gonna raise the volume of the game a little bit. Okay, let's go to the next race. Redwood Forest, Palm Desert, Grass Valley. Uh, Redwood Forest. That sounds like a cool place. Watch for intersection signs. They can save you in a blind turn. Natasha. Thanks, Natasha. Rude boy, I'm gonna come get you. Because I'm player A. I'm the best player there is. Oh, I didn't even hit him. <laughs> ah, you bastard. The menus in this game actually seem more streamlined than the other two were. And I mean other two, I mean Rorash 2 and 3. A little bit more straightforward with the bike buying and stuff. Not that it was all that complicated, but man, it seems like the menu got worse and worse as time got on with this series. Uh, Road Rash 3 really didn't have that bad of menus, and then the 64 games weren't that bad either. But that, in terms of gameplay, that's probably where you want to stop playing. I, I would probably say don't play Road Rash 3 as well, because it just seems more of the same. So, I, like, just just play 2. Just play 2. You're good with that one. Yeah, it had, like, a little world tour element to 3. I don't know. It didn't seem very worldly. <laughs> it was just like, hey, this place has snow. Okay. Good stuff. And it's not even Canada. Freaking Ireland or some some bull crap like that. I don't even remember. Oh man, this video game. This is a handheld ass video game. Oh my god, I can't believe we both split that car at the intersection there. Like, it's scary how much it is, like the console version, but yet I'm still like, eh. <laughs> but I I'm like that with the first Road Rash, to be honest. There's only one Road Rash in my view, in terms of that generation. And it's Road Rash 2. That's THE Road Rash. And then, but then, THE Road Rash is the PC one. That's THE Road Rash right there. Road Rash 3D had some cool, um moments like you could jump over cars to avoid them I mean that was cool because then you could actually get away from them and not have to deal with crashing every time but you would occasionally crash if you didn't time it on time so how you would avoid it is you do a wheelie and then you just go right over it it's pretty funny all right so you can see the red bar there counting down or counting up sorry how many miles is left oh god damn it no Oh, that stupid cow. Oh, no. Oh. That's really close to the end of the race, too. Well, that sucks. I'm only assuming that it's close to the end of the race. Oh, god damn. I needed that money to freaking buy the bike. That's the only reason I was doing this race, was to show off another bike. No! Because that's really the only difference in the game, really. Okay, this is called, uh, what? What was this place called? Something Forest? 
First level wasn't very foresty, and it looks pretty much like this. Let's go on the beach one. At least it'll be browner, I suppose. <laughs> and hopefully the bike will look different. If I can get in good position before this damn race is over. Stay on the road. I need to... Oh, this is over. Damn! Fifth place. Do I get some money, at least? For participating? <laughs> I don't get enough money to buy another bike. It gives me... Oh, credit price. 5,000. Nope, I don't have enough money. The Panda 600. Shit, I don't know if I want to play more of this. It's a good version of it. It's a good handheld version of it. Ugh, oh, fifth. Let's just see if the desert at least looks like a desert. It probably does. My guess is that it does. Alright, there you go. That's a desert. Look at that. There's even tribe men in here. Oh no, I thought that was a dude holding a sword. To do it with his lady. A sword, I, uh, sorry, a shield. Looks like It looked like a dude holding a shield, you know? Like a tribe. But nope. Just do with his girl at the start of the starting line. It's funny how Road Rash had running over people, now that I think about it. Because when 3D games became 3D, they were like, Oh god, I don't know, we gotta be careful with letting people run over people. You, re you remember Midnight Club? Couldn't run over people in that. Driver couldn't run over people in that. Even if you cornered them, you couldn't do anything to them. It's like they were not even existent. Alright, but uh, that's uh, Road Rash for the Game Gear. Game Gear. This is like the two best games for the Game Gear that I know of. From It's all downhill from here. Whatever Game Gear game I play from my past, it's all bad. Alright, see ya.